How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I attacked another build video, and with Sunbracers now revving up into being the next meta exotic, what better time than now to fine tune my old Sunbracers build with the new loadout system Bungie has bestowed upon us on the release of Lightfall. So with my intro playing through, you probably were deep staring at the gameplay, watching the room remain clear. You see, the thing about Sunbracers is, they are goaded at ad clearing? and raid boss destroying. Sunbracers honestly have always been meta, but now it's getting the attention it well deserves. So getting into the build, we will start off with Sun Bracers. It's exotic perk stating, increase the duration of solar grenades, and solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief time. To give you the specifics, you can throw up to five at a time. Now onto the subclass, arguably the only thing that is important to the build. The mods, which we will go over later, are just to full send the build into an even more monstrous version of itself. So for the aspects, both being very important, Touch of Flame and Heat Rises. Touch of Flame doing more than just making the solar grenades shoot blobs of lava, but also increasing the linger duration of the solar grenades even more. And to help out with the melee energy that is required to keep the grenades going, we have Heat Rises. Not only will this keep you in the air for a stupid amount of time, essentially making you the guardian equivalent of the air force, just dropping bombs everywhere, but by getting kills while airborne you will receive melee energy, and it's no small amount. Now of course with every build there is some weirdo in my comments saying good luck in endgame content, as if me, someone that does endgame content in the most challenging way, hasn't already thought about that. So that's where the fragments come in. First up, Ember of Empyrean, which states that solar weapon and, more importantly, solar ability kills will extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant, capping at about 12 seconds. I would recommend Ember of Solace, but it doesn't seem to increase the timer beyond 12 seconds. But up next, Ember of Torches, which states that by landing hits with your powered melee, you will gain Radiance. And with all the melee and grenade spam going on, for when you decide to use your weapon, it will come with a 25% damage boost. Now, up next, Ember of Singeing, stating that your class ability will recharge faster when enemies are scorched, which obviously will happen. And lastly, Ember of Ashes, the no-brainer one, stating you will apply more scorched stacks. This one is for the bosses mainly, but in case you didn't know, Ignitions are goaded. Now, to the trained eye, you will probably be asking, how are you gonna get restoration? You're not even running a healing nade. That is what Phoenix Dive is for. With the very sneaky perk of, while Heat Rises is active, you gain restoration. Now, it's only three seconds initially, but I'll teach you a little trick to do. After consuming a grenade, just start floating a little. Then you're gonna wanna snap your fingers and immediately with zero downtime, activate your Phoenix Dive. This will start you off in the six second area, sometimes could be more. After that, you can either get more solar weapon kills to rev up your restoration timer even higher, or just start throwing grenades. Because again, you did just get a melee kill by the way. And once you're comfortable, just take to the sky with your restoration times two and infinite solar nade spam. But oh no, you messed up somehow and now you're stuck without any abilities. That's where the mods come in to save the day. Starting off with the headpiece, it is a free card right here. You can have whatever you want. I laid it with a bunch of ashes to assets just to get my super back even faster, but you can do whatever you want like orb creation or heavy finders. Next up, the arms piece. The most important takeaway mod here is the grenade orb maker. You'll see why later. And to stack myself even more, I went with the very optional Momentum Transfer and Melee Kickstart to help out with the heat rises just a little bit more. Now on my chest piece, it's just your standard defense mods, nothing special going on here. Now on the legs, you have the build savers. With all the grenades you just spammed, orbs should be all over the battlefield. With Invigoration, you will be able to use those orbs to replenish your melee. And with Insulation, you can get your class ability back. But what about the grenade? Remember, powered melee kills will give you your grenade back full charge. Once it's back, 
just eat it. Take to the sky, get kills, fill the melee back up, then melee into another phoenix dive. You have now successfully just kickstarted the build flow again. Now for the class piece, do what you want. Another free card as I say. But for me, I want the safe route just to make sure I always have my melee back. It really is just the backbone of the build. Now I hope this video has helped you warlocks out and if it has a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And if you have enjoyed this video, go check out another one of mine. Should be on the screen for you right now. Peace.